Hi everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I bet you guys are wondering how everything went yesterday. Well, it went well. It went very, very extremely well. I woke up um, around five o'clock in the morning. I had this sudden burst of energy that I don't know where it came from. I mean, it was like all the night, all that night, I was trying to stay asleep because I like had so much energy that I like just couldn't stay asleep like I just kept dreaming and thinking about waking up and doing stuff so like I got up at five o'clock in the morning started cleaning my room trying to get my clothes together and stuff like that for the show um I ended up getting out on time got to the show doing just fine um and everything just everything has come just like I don't even know where to start, you guys. Like, okay, so, you know, I had the show. The show went great, and I don't know if I'll be able to go into detail, but it was great. I met so many people. A lot of people wanted my information for whatever reasons. Like, people just are, like, gravitating toward me, so that was cool and everything. Um, I did get some maple syrup. My sweet boyfriend, he went and bought me some maple syrup. He got me, um, he got me one with half. He basically got me one, and uh, he bought me one, and he had some syrup at his house that had, like, half of the amount left. So that was great. That should last me until I'm able to afford to um, <laughs> get some more. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, it's day 10 for me right now. I feel great. I have a lot of energy. I lost a little bit of weight, and it's, a little, it's noticeable to me. You know, I'm not where I want to be yet, but... I do feel a lot better. Things are looking a lot tighter. You know, things are drawing from the right places. So I feel great. I just can't wait to keep losing this weight. Can't wait to get healthy. So at this point, it's only 30 days left. Oh, my God. Like, that's so crazy to me. Like, because this 10 days just, like, flew by. You know, I had my weak moments. I'm pretty sure there are more to come. But I'm really, really enjoying doing this in my life like my boyfriend has been so inspiring and then at the show some of the models they saw me with this big embarrassing ass thing like I need to get something else to put it in because this just looks like I understand why somebody somebody asked me if this was pee like literally out on the street somebody thought that this was piss and I can understand why they thought that now so I'm, I'm definitely going to get something else to carry that in uh what else yeah, one of a couple of the models, one guy, his name is Ryan, uh, Ryan De Graves, I believe. And uh, he was like, yeah, he just came off the master cleanse. And that was so inspiring. And it's like, man, I'm not the only one in the world doing this. Like, you guys inspire me so much. The few of people that have been on my page, like, I, I look at your progress and stuff like that because it's inspiring to me. It's like I said, this is my first time doing this master cleanse without somebody close doing it with me. And I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything like that but it's been great it's been such a great 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 experience and I'm just so surprised that I was able to do it myself and I'm still doing it and I'm still motivated to do it because I had a weak moment the other day and like I was walking around my kitchen like what am I gonna do what am I gonna do I want to eat something I want to eat something because I was craving food like no other so I called my boyfriend and that was that you know he talked me out of it like I just, it's like you got to do what you got to do to get yourself out of that situation at that moment. Whatever you got to do. If you got to freaking just jump in the shower with some clothes on, whatever you got to do to distract yourself from that situation. Because nine times out of ten, the rest of the day will take care of it. You know, it's that weak moment. Usually these are milestones. These cravings that we may have to eat something, they're milestones. They're not going to be there forever. They're temporary. And usually if you can get yourself to not give in to temptation for that brief moment that you feel that way you've won for the day because then you get that chance to sit back and look like why the hell was i going to do that why was i going to throw all this progress away like even if you're on day one day two it doesn't matter and and to be quite honest even if you do cheat if you do cheat do not stop because if you cheat Look at it like this. There's a bad side up to it, and there's a good side to it. If you cheat, the good side is that it's not over. You only lose if you stop. So say you're on day five or something like that, and you cheat. You will lose a little bit of progress. That's the bad side. But you didn't lose if you keep going. You can just put that behind you and keep going. You know, 
your body will react to it some kind of way. And hopefully it's not too bad because it, it would depend on what you ate. Like if you ate some fruit or something like that, it'll set you back, but not as bad as like if you had a freaking steak burger or something like that because that'll set you back. But still, you didn't lose unless you stopped. So if you if you cheat, if you have a little something you're not supposed to have, just don't stop. What is that? Am I here? Get out. Get out. Okay. I see it. Okay, I got it. Um, yeah, just don't stop. Do not, do not, do not stop. I can't stress that enough. And if you start feeling weak, like I said, just find something to get yourself out of that situation at that moment. Just like, I don't know, just go do something. Go call somebody, tell somebody about it, start tweeting, start texting, start exercising, which is what is on my to-do list at this point. Because, you know, the first week, you're not really supposed to do all of that stuff. And, like, with my whole issue of having that, like, massive bleeding going on that I had, <laughs> that sounds so gross, so gross. Um, I didn't really, really want to start doing that because my body wasn't ready to start doing stuff like that. Like, I was still feeling nauseous and damn near blacking out and stuff like that so I was nowhere near ready to start working out but I am now and like I said I feel great I want you guys to see what I look like now just in case like I always manage to have on baggy clothes and you can't really tell but um, let's see if you can see the difference okay this is not the best thing to be wearing I swear to God let me take this shirt off trying my little stomach <laughs> so that's that there's the front it's coming off you know slowly but surely but i feel great you know more more than anything i would say i'm losing in the places like um it's not some big dramatic weight loss to the point that you can see like damn girl you're in a size 12, 14 or something like that, but um, it's definitely making some of my clothes that were tight before fitted. They're definitely fitting a lot more loosely now, so that's what I'm excited about. Um, I have a few more things to do. I've got a lot of great news. I have a couple of more shows that I booked, and I'm so happy about that. Um, the next show will be with Anna Havet. And I'm really excited about that. Yesterday's show was with um, six designers from the Chicago Fashion Incubator. And um, they're great people over there. Um, yeah, they're really, really nice. The next one, like I said, is Anna Havet. And then I'll be doing something with Laura Deljanin, Deljanin or whatever. And I'm excited about that as well because she's a great designer. And I'm really glad that she's kind of taking me under her wing and just being patient with me knowing that I'm a student and knowing that I'm not the best at how everything works in the business because um you know I kind of chickened out and I I haven't been in contact with her until she contacted me come to think of it I'm supposed to be sending her my house phone number but I don't know it because I've never called it you know so yeah that's cool stuff and um yeah just want to let you guys know what's going on so if anybody out there is on day one day two day whatever just message me or, you know, leave a comment, subscribe, like, favorite, all of that stuff. Because it, it means so much to me, you know, to see you guys out there and knowing that somebody else is being inspired. It means so, 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 so much. So please keep me posted. And I'll try to do the same for you guys. Um, good luck. Don't give up. Please just promise me and promise yourself that you won't give up. I know, I know it's hard. I know it feels like gosh, I would just really like to eat something and then start over brand new or try it at a time when I'm feeling stronger. But trust me, trust me, the longer you, every day that you've put, that you add to how many days you've done it, is a new plateau. Every single day that you add to it, it's something greater for you in the end. So when you start looking at day eight, day nine, day 10, day 11, that's going to be a great feeling. And before you know it, no matter how far you're going to go, it'll be over. And it'll be so much easier when you start having real food. Your stomach will be smaller. You'll get fuller faster. You will learn that you need to eat when you're hungry and not when your mind is thinking about food or when you're having a craving. And then as a reward, once a month, give yourself a day to have those things that you're not supposed to have. Like I know how it sounds. I know the stuff is more so processed that it really shouldn't be eaten. But honestly... I've been eating junk food from McDonald's and KFC and even Subway for most of my life. 
And though it does have long term some long term effects and that that we don't realize right now that we don't feel like it's it's true. But a lot of these places, I'm telling you, check it out, read your labels, do your research. Nobody's trying to scare you out of eating good foods that or foods that taste good to you because there's like, oh, some conspiracy theory. But trust me, some of the stuff that's in that food is no good for you. But I will say it's not just going to kill you because you had one. But if you feel like you deserve to at least taste that food, I'm not going to deprive myself of a good day or a reward day once a month or something like that. Because when I come off of this, I'm going strictly vegan. You know, I tried the vegan thing before. It went well. I still was having cravings. But that was because I hadn't, my mind wasn't prepared for that lifestyle. My body was doing just fine with eating the meals like I'm supposed to eat them, when I'm supposed to eat them. But my my mind was just like, bitch, you normally have like 16 meals a day. And you normally feed me a whole lot of stuff that tastes far better than this fruits, vegetables, and wheat thins, and crap like that. But just to clarify, just because you have a vegan lifestyle does not mean that everything you eat comes out of a can and looks like dog crap. Because at, my, at the organic food store near my house, there is so much good food. The last thing that I had before I came on this cleanse was like this vegan soul food um, dish. It was great. You know, there's no nothing from an animal, basically. So that means no dairy, no meat, nothing like that. You're not even supposed to have bread. But if you do have bread, I suppose it's supposed to be high in like whole wheat or whole grain, something like that. But anyway, run out of time on this video. But yeah, if you guys got any questions, I will post my Facebook link and my Twitter link. You guys can ask me anything. Like, I'm so... I'm so ready to talk to people because I'm learning more every single day that I do this cleanse about my body and about everything. So let me shut the hell up. I'm so sorry if I bored you guys or if the audio is all crappy again, which I'm sure it is. But either way, I love you guys and thank you for watching. And please subscribe and like and comment. <laughs> talk to you guys later.